Hello, Half Full Monty here uh, with my next video. So, it's my next project. Uh, be interested to see what this uh, turns out to be. Uh, the uh, I won the bid on eBay. It's like, okay, I put the lowest amount in at the last minute. And uh, that's what I, I won with. So anyway, the guy had a good rating, but there's no telling. Uh, what this is uh, going to turn out. Interesting. Huh. He's got hermetically sealed. what my mama used to wrap my bologna sandwiches in for lunch. As a kid, got two pieces of Mrs. Baird's white bread, piece of bologna, a little mustard wrapped in this stuff. Uh, I don't even think we got chips. I got an apple or something, but uh, anyway, by the time you took that lunch and you put it in your cubby hole at school and you got around to lunch and got that sandwich was always mushy. So, uh, interesting. One moment. A little bit closer. Oh, that was a fail. Now we're back. Okay, let's look at this thing. Plum victory. So, uh, a uh, carpenter's hatchet head. Uh, supposedly, Plum Victories uh, more like uh, maybe 40s, 50s, 60s, uh, somewhere in there. The nail puller. Uh, it's a little bit boogered up. I can probably file that out. Don't see any cracks. Uh, not really all that rusted out. It's been uh, the bit's been worn quite well. 
so hang on one second all right so let's see what it weighs one point six six ounces ounces Uh, six inches. The uh, bit uh, is about three and oh, about five eighths, three and five eighths. Uh, I did say six. Uh, about a, well, I don't know what they're calling that. Almost an inch and a quarter. Eight octagonal hammer head on it. Uh, the, uh, the handle will be a uh, interesting. It looks like it's a. Uh, Right at one well, around an inch and a it's hard to measure these things, inch and a half by let's see here five sixteenths. Inch and a half. You must be measuring that wrong. Yep. Yeah, about the same thing on the. Huh. Okay. So there it is. It's really uh pretty smooth. It doesn't look like it's been ground on on the sides or anything. So uh, they call it a carpenter's hatchet, but it looks like a, uh, uh, to me, a, uh, I guess that's it, or a, a roofing hatchet, like for a composition roof. Uh, the wood shingle hatchet was uh, much narrower and it, you always had a uh, uh, thing on it that you could adjust on it where you knew how long your shingles when to whack them off where you didn't need that for a composition uh you did need a a nail puller but uh anyway more to come on this uh i guess uh i did okay you'll have to let me know in the comments what you think uh 15 dollars uh, and if you know where the handles are for these things a good handle provider. Uh, anyway, make sure you give me a thumbs up, uh, like, subscribe, share, uh, comment. Have full money out.